It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Uh, Hezzy is here, of course. Uh, Little Latinx is here, of course. On, uh, Wax is here, of course. Yeah. Taylor Gang is here, of course. And we got a special guest in the building. Uh, you know he's a special guest because he's not getting on no plane to come to New York. He hates New York. This but he's is, here right now. Yes. And he got leather pants on. Yep. Come on. You know when I wear my leather pants, that means I got a special coming on. Hey. hey. Living my best life special. You can buy a pay-per-view right now. And on what's the other network? Black. All black. All black. Deacon Duval is here. Early. I went all black for the black people. Lil Duval <laughs> said, uh, you know, you can tell, you know why he got on leather pants. He got a special life. This is your first special. Oh yeah. But all, all stand-up <laughs> stand comedians wear, wear leather pants. So this is my... Oh, I didn't wear it on my special because I wanted to be more like Sammy Davis Jr. So ah. right now, I'm... Come on now, you get it. Did Eddie, Eddie started that? Eddie started what, the leather pants? Yeah. Yeah, Eddie started this, you know, but I was going back old past Eddie with Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy, okay. Sammy wore leather pants? No, he didn't. I oh, wore a suit. Oh. On my special, I wear, yeah, yeah, okay. I wear a suit, like on some Rat Pack shit. Okay, okay, but in real life, you just walking around with the leather pants on? The leather pants to promote it. Okay. Okay, so wait, you have a special okay. coming out on All Black? All Black. <laughs> what is that? Explain what's going on. I don't know what's happening. All, all all Black is Bob Johnson's new uh, streaming platform. So really, his special is on pay-per-view. It's on video on demand. Yeah. So you can go to it, watch it, just like you would watch the fight, and then you go to All Black if you want to, and then eventually it'll be on one of the other streamers. See, we got to go Black first. That's what we do in our community shows. Okay, so yeah, I went explain Black this. First. Explain I went this Black thing. first. You yeah. know, I got to give my people first. Then I give it to you people. Got you. Okay, Come now yeah. are white yeah, people yeah. allowed to 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 buy the special? Are the, are we also you're allowed definitely to allowed? Participate? You're definitely allowed, but you probably want to do it on the low, just in case your other white friends oppose it. Right. But for the most part, you can go there. You're welcome. Okay. They love you though. They love me. Yeah, they white love people me. love little. They love ball. me. Yo. But black people feel like they need me first. So I got to give it to my black. He's like, damn, you gonna go there first without us? That's what's like. Next week is my first week in in Utah. That's my first. You've never been to Utah? I've never performed in Utah. That's a polygamy state, right? Yeah, I've no, never performed. No. Then you just do. No, it's not a polygamy state. No. It's not? No, no, no. no then no, you just no, leave no, there, no. Schultz? You, are you going there? I was just there. It's great. The comedy club is great. Where is it? Wise Guys? I'm not sure. I just know it's Salt Lake Shouldn't City. you know these things? No, nah, you don't know these it. things, man. <laughs> he just shows up, does the comedy, Schultz, no. bro. This is Duval. Yeah. You're talking to Duval right now. Come on, now. So it's not a polygamy state. I thought you could have more than one wife in Utah. No, I think that's illegal all across America. But like Mormons try to do that <laughs> shit. Yeah, you can't do it. I you thought know. it was legal though. Yeah, because the whole HBO show Big Love was based off it, right? Yeah, that's a show. That's a that's a that's a that's a television show. Well, that's some bullshit. Yeah. So what about that other show where the dude had all them wives and he built their houses and they all stayed in different houses in Utah? That was Big Love. That was Big Love. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I I don't think that's legal, man. I don't think they like legally got married or some shit. Taylor, look it up. Man, this shit is so funny now that Schultz is in Florida. This nigga dressed like me now. He told me yeah. that. He, he didn't change, <laughs> man. Life, he talked all I'm that shit about there. the South. Felt that heat ain't left yet. Yeah, 3 0 has he different. <laughs> three oh three oh five. Three oh heavy different. Three oh heavy different. He's I not said the same. To Charlemagne, I'm not coming back to New York until Tamika Mallory's book is out, and uh, we honestly don't <laughs> know what that's going to be. Man, hold up, hold up. Yo, man, yo Duval, 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 Duval. Let me ask you a question. Oh. Let me ask you a question. Charlemagne's been promoting Tamika Mallory's book. This has been for literally the last year. This is May 11th. Duval, do me one favor. See if there's anything written on them pages. It is. I don't even look, think look, we got look, words look. written on those pages. It is. It is. May 11th. Next week. Next week it'll start, be out. Start reading saying. from that book. Word, words with no pictures. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Bible. <laughs> when I think of the most terrifying oh tools of hatred in this country history, I don't think of a knife or a gun. I think of a noose. Whoa. Damn. Damn. That kind she of came in that. hot. She Come came on. in hot. She and, came listen, in and, and that was any page, too. And, and she came in hot. <laughs> and we got the forward. We got the forward from Car the Cardi B. Angela Davis forward is great because Cardi B asks a question and Angela Davis answers it. But I have not been promoting this book for a year. It's only been since October. 
Wow. Okay, mm-hmm. October. But it'll be out uh, May 11th. So I guess you coming home, Schultz. That's I'm right. coming home, baby. The streets need you. Listen, uh, New York opening back up in June, um, Schultz, Schultz, or July. Schultz, Schultz yeah. I'm up here now. You ain't missing shit. <laughs> <laughs> you is not missing shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was not missing shit. Trust me. Duval just tried to buy a watch off Canal Street. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get. Well, I tried to get my old lady uh, a little pouch, a little Louis pouch. She hung up on me. That lady. That lady wants you to get that bag. That lady won't be. She been trying. She done went down to twenty dollars. I never thought about it, but I can see why you would come to New York, come to Canal Street, and buy some fake shit. You know what's so crazy? It's mostly white people out there buying all this shit. Yeah, oh yeah. Smart they buy all the fake shit. We the only dummies buying the That's real right. shit. That's right. And we look yeah. at them and we just assume it's real because they white. Because they white. Yeah. We got to stop that. <laughs> oh, it's their investment. Go, go ahead and rob them if you Matter want fact, to. I'm going to record that on, on my social media when I get off here. I'm going to go out there and record to show how many Who's buying white the people fake up shit. here buying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a white person get teased for having something fake on. Do y'all tease each other for having fake shit on? Andrew was the closest. Somebody did shit on Andrew about some Jays. You would shit on somebody about some Jays. No, no, no. Somebody shit it on Andrew about some Jays. shit on me? Because back in the day, I could only afford two pairs of Jays, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I only had two pairs of Jordans, and we were recording a podcast every week, and I was just flip-flopping my red to my blue, my red to my blue. (laughs) And then some guy on on Twitter came at me, bro. So do y'all shit on each other for having fake shit on? Not really, because, I mean, like, it's, it's pretty cheap to buy, like, Vans. Like, if you bought fake Vans, that's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Vans are $40. Like, you saving $10 for Vans, you buy fake Vans for $30. <laughs> you know? Like, Man, that's this wild. Man, this motherfucker's buying fake Michael Kors. If Michael Kors is cheap. Yeah. You know what we might do? We might, like, trash someone who got, like, the, the, the bootleg cereals. Like, if you don't have Frosted Flakes, you got, like, Sugary Flakes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I came up on. That's like, all we came yeah, up on. Say, you was cracking on we me. We came yeah. up on Corn Flakes. And put sugar on the cornflakes. Damn, mm-hmm. polygamy is no longer a felony in Utah, bro. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, they passed yeah. the law back in the March. It went into effect. You done let them hating ass women up there talk talk to you and fool Man, you on, while you was on stage. Man, they say polygamy from a third degree felony to an infraction. So basically the same legal level as a traffic t- ticket. Wow. So you can have more than one oh, wife I'll in goddamn Utah. I'll take that ticket. But would you really want more wives? Like, think about that. Yeah, Do you want more? Talking. The wives are now, responsibility. I like, Women I are want... a headache. Like, that's a lot yeah, of... That's a lot of talking. Yeah. That's a lot of emotions you're going to have to deal with. Yeah. You're going to have to have a... You have to have a madam to to control that. Exactly. Yes. Like I think yes. I understand guys going. I'd like to sleep with more than one woman. I don't think any guys fantasizing about having four wives, bro. Like, nah, you four gotta be able different to people. Four wives. You, you gotta can, be able to afford four wives. I think you can though. How? I don't want four wives like that. I want different houses, different households. I believe. Yeah. You want different households? Have to. But yeah, you wouldn't you want everybody. You wouldn't want everybody under one roof. Otherwise, it'd be bad girls club yeah. every time. Yeah, <laughs> like yep. no, people do that all the time though. Do There's time. a lot of guys that have. Who was the uh, comedian that had two wives? That's Davis. two. D-ray. That's two. Look at Taylor shooting her shot. Taylor love her some Duval, boy. That's Taylor, two. <laughs> Taylor want Duval so oh, bad. Come on, man. Listen, she Taylor asked me Duvall. three times. Let's be clear. Charlene wants us to be together because Listen, we're both short. Taylor was walking in front of Duval, right? In front of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Right? No, 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 no. Taylor was walking behind Duval. <laughs> yeah. She's walking behind Duval and she go, why are you following me? I did not say yeah. that. Like, what? You know how old lady flirting that is? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old lady flirt. I'm he telling you, I see you, you following me. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, we get in the room by ourselves, it's on. It's, it's on? It's on. It's on. Stay look at it, look at it. Listen, come on. It's on right, we're going to smoke? <laughs> yeah, we're going to smoke. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. She said she wants some smoke. <laughs> hey, tell her. Get you in the mood, baby, whatever your vice is. But look, is. another short guy tried to do that, and he... I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of people say so. Don't point at me out though. <laughs> Why you don't, don't, you don't like short guys? Every that. tall girl I fuck Look, say they don't joke. fuck short yeah. guys. Huh? Every tall girl I fuck say they don't fuck short guys. So I don't heard that a thousand times. I don't care I'm about that. I'm not tall short. though. I know that. So if they saying I know you a fuck. First of all, I'm not that easy. First of all, I'm telling you, I know you ain't easy. I ain't fucked yet. It's been years. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, got got for you while. While. he do got a point. He, he do got a point. While. You can't even use that as I'm not easy. I know you for years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know you're not easy. Yeah. <laughs> you talking to an old nigga that's been around a couple times. Them little lines, them little memes, them Instagram memes don't work on me. <laughs> Be honest though, Taylor. You like Duval, don't you? 
He's cool. I don't no, know. Be, all right, all right, let's it's be real. Yeah, like no, you, no, just like me. Like I like real. this. And this ain't this. We ain't got a fuck or nothing. But I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, wouldn't. You're fuck. not contractually <laughs> obligated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just like me. I fuck, but you know, it's some girls out there. No, no, I want to. I want to fuck. You keep me out though. Yeah, <laughs> I eat pussy. You sound like ooh, and I guarantee you I eat your pussy. I'm fucking. There ain't no way in hell. There ain't no way in hell. Dick getting dropped off. You see what I mean? He dropping it off. Dick getting dropped off. And she gonna be looking at you. You gonna know I'm fucking. She gonna be looking at me funny every time I come up and do an interview. He gonna be like, yeah, they fuck. You could you can see it in the eyes. You know? Every time I walk in, just. She be mad as hell when she hear dropping dick. Yeah. I was like, this is some bullshit. Yeah, fucking so. <laughs> like, and, and, and he ain't even stay long. He and just drops it off. Every time smile come on. <laughs> he ain't even stay long. He just... <laughs> cap. Every time dropping dick off. Cap. <laughs> cap. <laughs> Nigga drop dick off 12 pumps. 12 pumps. <laughs> 12 pump 12 shorty. Pump shorty. 12 pump shorty. Oh, I wouldn't. Man. Listen, I can understand having more than one wife, though. At least two, right? Two is cool, right? Two is cool. I think, I do believe two women, because you need a woman, a woman needs somebody to talk to besides yeah, she needs us. Somebody, and, and they don't want to have another little man. Yeah, but you need somebody yeah. there sometimes. And, and in this day and age, y'all don't have that many friends for real. Like, how I many, do you got a real, like, real? I have a solid pack of friends. I never, How old are you right now? I'm about to be 30 soon. Yeah, oh, they, that don't count. They, wait yeah. till, wait after 30, you're going to see how all them friends yeah, slow hey, on down. All of them. No, but all this, them, this all one you really, since I was in, like, in middle school, so. Are like, they wait, single? You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Are they single, single? Taylor? As a, as a single pack. Are kind they of. single? <laughs> <laughs> Are they single? Uh, some of them. Because that's Most what you mean. Them. What kind of single so though? So you like at that age where they finna go all the way single for forever? Yeah. Or get a life. Or yeah. get a life. That's right. Literally. Get married. And you're going to be stuck in the middle because you ain't going to want to deal with the single shit, but you you still going to be looking for a good man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And women like you is going to be hard because y'all good women and it ain't that many of us out here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It ain't that many of Dr. us. Dr. Umar yeah. tried no. to tell you. Yeah. That's that you gotta uh, well I forgot what Dr. Umar said Take he, that said, he said there ain't, ain't enough black men out there for black women it really ain't it's I mean not, it's not yeah. cliche not like solid black men there's and black you gotta men think all y'all are raised to find the best person like y'all supposed to my get... dad put a pedestal for me so. all women are put a pedestal so just so imagine so. if it's a thousand of y'all he said all there. women are penicillin I mean I mean, <laughs> <laughs> put on the pedestal <laughs> nigga you know I'm from Florida shit <laughs> <laughs> So she's not supposed to laugh at that, man. Come on, man. Duval said, all women are penis. And he was going to let it slide, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Duval was so into his speech, he forgot what yeah, words he was going to say. You know how they use all these words all the time. Like, shit. <laughs> Penicillin, but check. What was we talking about? Pedestal. <laughs> women being on pedestal. Yeah, all women are raised to be put on a pedestal. So if all yeah. y'all, it's impossible for all y'all. How to come find- y'all aren't though? We, what you mean? Why aren't y'all put on? Because we're taught to treat y'all to put y'all on the pedestal. Yes, we're exactly. taught to get what we supposed to get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all taught to get what's the best. Yeah, we're yeah. taught to say you get what you work for. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. get what you work hard for. Yeah. So that's the difference. And I mean, yeah, and men don't need men don't need any. I don't want to say. And then when we get something, the tables re, the tables turn. Yeah, once How we so? get something, now all them chasing us. Yeah, like the shit. Yeah, and, and being up on a pedestal for a man is kind of, to me is based off what a reflection of what your woman is doing. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? If I'm able to provide for my woman and like mm-hmm. really show her and treat her a good time, I'm putting myself on a pedestal. Yeah, I'm a yeah. king. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. works in our favor because it makes all all other women that single they want us even more. Exactly. And if girls girls got to pick us anyway, so because y'all looking at what y'all want, y'all looking at men that's already taken. That's where y'all pick. Yo, what y'all that's want. crazy. The more we provide for our girl, the more we get her and show her the most amazing lifestyle, the more desirable we get to other women. Yeah, so absolutely. If, yeah. if, yeah. if, if and, our women and really and wanted us it. to be faithful, they wouldn't accept any presents or gifts or anything. Or yeah. if they did, they wouldn't tell everybody but on Instagram, <laughs> exactly. showing yeah. it all. Yeah. Like the they most wouldn't. secure thing you could do in your relationship is look broke, ladies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Schultz, you got a point. I'm going to tell you something else. That shit don't work else. for Derek Jackson, though, lady. <laughs> <laughs> they ran through her. <laughs> and she wasn't even the problem. At she all. wasn't even the problem. Lady. She was the problem because she wasn't saying nothing. That show you that it's women are bullies. Women are way more bullying because that women didn't deserve that ass whooping. Nah, but I think with. some of them looked at it like, you got the nerve to be out here cheating and acting like you better than everybody and you got your woman out here looking. looking yeah, old. but they went Damn. to the woman. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they they didn't make the man heads. look bad. Like shit. Like they yeah. came for both. But I she, don't think she, they should have came for the woman though. She should have had more say so though. She should have had more control over that relationship, man. I don't think they would have came for her. If you gonna put her, it would have mattered no way because they would have shitted on a wig or something like. Even if she was looking fly. Even if she would look fly, they man, come on, you talking about social media? They would dissect that woman. It is trying to find something. They were like, you sitting there all dressed up to this nigga that cheated on you. Like it's no way. And it didn't help that it was so close to the busted challenge because she looked like she had just started it and never dropped. She never dropped. She looked like. Like they call her right before she was finna transform. That's right, right before she hey, was about baby, to come drop. Do this, come do this little interview with me. And then the phone died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's a good point too. Even when you, what y'all was talking about with the women, Um, I forgot what the fuck y'all was talking about just now. Who? I forgot. About, nah, the most secure women. thing a woman Shelf can do is look broke. Remember. Oh yeah, the most, the most, the most secure thing a woman oh. can do for her relationship is not look like she got anything going on because then they're going to want yes. your man who's providing all this great shit exactly. for you. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you something. Dudes on Instagram that love to show off what they doing for their woman, like when they show like the roses on the bed and mm -hmm. all this and that, uh -huh. they only doing that for other women. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, only yeah, they, 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 they <laughs> doing that to look good. Too, they they, they, they <laughs> showing off for, for other wife. women, bro. They don't yeah. get that though, like, and women fall What's for it. What's this guy every doing, yo? Time. Like, every time. What? What's this yeah, guy you doing, let, You gotta yo? let your girl do it. I'm sorry, Shows. I had somebody in my mind I was shooting at. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> did It wasn't you. Shotgun. Shot yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My time. bad. I had one person. You know who I was thinking of? Who? Tyrese. That uh, was, I, did. I was, I was, I was, I was. Yeah. I was thinking about one person and I ended up spraying yeah. you by mistake. You spraying I'm everybody. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. show my girl on the internet. You Every once in a while, I gotta... Ladies, yeah. this, I gotta do if it. If a man is shitting on another man to get you, like, that's, that's signs that he's full of shit. Yeah. Like when he's selling <laughs> you a dream, like, why would a man do this? Why is... Yeah, 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 like that yeah, is yeah, signs yeah, of yeah, bullshit. Yeah, 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 like you yeah. should know that. That's why I never got why they fell for the Derrick Jackson. It's like, it's obvious. Because yeah. if you got it. Like he's selling you what you want to hear. Nah, they finally we have somebody on their side. We want to believe that y'all are good they, men out there. You heard what she said? They are good men. You heard what she said? Yeah, but we want to believe it. God's you don't like, believe he's a good man? Me? Yeah. yeah, I do. But, so, I'm but he's not like, doing what they do. No, but he had his dirt time too, right? So yeah. we want to Hey, yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> but we want to hey, believe that, you know, <laughs> it's not all men have a dirt side on them. That's all. That's all. But they, there's they, nobody. It's just Russell, Russell Wilson, and that's it. <laughs> you, you just got certain men who prey on people's <laughs> need to believe. Obama's. Barack Obama, they pray on y'all. They pray. They do. That's yeah, why. That's do. why it works. In they like preachers. They pray on your need to believe. Yeah. Why you think Which, it's more? Why you think it's more women in the in the in the church? Because they believe. Y'all believe oh. way more than. Amen. Like, yeah. like, we don't follow. You gotta, deacons. Let me ask you guys this: Do you think is is possible that there'll always be a place on the internet? which is full of frustrated men and a lot of nerds who can't get laid, there'll always be a place on the internet for them to watch videos of a guy shitting on women because they're angry at women and they're frustrated yes, uh -huh. they can't get no pussy. So it's they relish in the it, fact that a dude is telling a woman they ain't shit, right? Like that space yeah. will always exist. Just like I think it's more so because ain't nobody saying nothing that's, that's got a voice, that anybody that say anything close to something that got to do with for the male voice they they go with it. yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. it's like yeah he's speaking for the men finally somebody that's why they fuck yeah. with me because i'm the only one speak but, from a male point of view but that's not but, true there's plenty of us that all that talk about it and and maybe we are successful because of that like they want some perspective but andrew's right though but i tell you this man there is a lot of guys out here um that that, that like pussy but don't like women so you know what that's I mean? They, they, they'll all they'll always yeah, side. That's crazy. They'll, that's all, they'll, they'll always side with a guy that's like really going in on women. It's hard to like something that you're rejected by constantly. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. yeah. You see this happen a lot of times in politics. Like, there's always going to be a space for someone who justifies your views. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, well, well kind of like what Trump was doing. Anybody that said they fuck with him, he brought them out and showed them love. Yeah. Mascot, yeah. Like, it's just a like mascot, yeah. Exactly. Even yeah. they didn't even he didn't even know if they knew him or not. They just said we fuck with Trump. <laughs> like, All right, I like bring that him guy. Over hey, yeah. But to that point, that's what social media is, right? Social yeah. media, you can always find a group to reinforce whatever you want on yes. social media. Yes. It don't matter what it is. Dangerous. That's why. Dangerous. That's why you ain't everybody. you ain't as good as they say you is. You ain't as bad as they say you is. Yeah. You know. At the end of the day, you just can't yeah. trust. You can't soak up into the game like that. You can't soak up into your cheers. 
Cause you gonna die in your boots. That's right. That's uh -huh. a fact. That, but that's 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 all. That's why everybody everybody feels empowered. Cause I can get online right now and say anything, and it's gonna be about twenty people that agree with me. Yeah, you know how much yeah. twenty people is a lot. Like, we, you know what? Don't think. Like, of, you know what? I eat shit. You be like, you know what? That's some real I shit. I eat shit yeah. too. <laughs> Finally. Finally. You so brave. <laughs> you are so everything. brave. <laughs> <laughs> you so brave. He's taking the picture with the lens still on it. What? <laughs> Lord have mercy, see? That's he. Now, now you need to get on social like media, exactly, and be like, man, I like taking pictures with the lens still on the camera. <laughs> Me so too. 50, 50 people. <laughs> <laughs> Me he too. speak to my soul. That's exactly yeah. what it is. That's the problem with social media. If there was no social media, People wouldn't be like this. No, that's the problem with people, because yeah. you can only fall for it if you believe it. Attention. You know, that's you. Like, we don't fall for it. Yeah. Think about when you was growing up and you had, like, um, certain groups. Like, I guess for us, it would be, like, the gothic kids, right? Mm -hmm. There wasn't a lot of gothic kids in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So it was, like, three of them, four of them, maybe, but they'd be so tight. They always be with each other. They yeah. found each other. You'll yeah. find your You'll tribe. Find it. You'll find you ever it. notice your enemies always gang up together and talk to each other on social media? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's always been. That's, you know what? that's just what it, you know. You finding somebody that don't like what you like. That's all it is. We were just talking about this. Like, it's so much easier to be in a group now that you have social media. Like back in the day, for those yes. goth kids, I was literally saying this just earlier. You had to put on makeup. You had to get an outfit. Yeah. You had to show up at the Halloween store. You had to wear mm -hmm. fangs and shit. You had to wear these big chunky boots. You had to commit to that identity mm -hmm. and that group. Yes. Now you literally just need to hop on Twitter, put in a hashtag, and you are part of whatever that fucking community is. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Bro, I remember when Hot Topic opened Pop it. in Charleston, Pop South Carolina, it. and I was like, Ooh, this enough for them to have a whole goddamn store, and you—that's when they all had a place to congregate. Yeah, place. That, that was their social got media. The <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. That's when they had a place to congregate. Hot fucking, and that shit's still open to this day. Yeah, in the malls, yeah. it's sick, bro. Yo, that place stopped a lot of school shootings, bro. The fact that they had a place to go to, just hang out with one another, you know, buy mm -hmm. eyeliner and shit. That was yeah. that was a, that was huge. That was I, you know, that was massive, dude. You don't think it's something else going on in Hot Topic, bro? What you like mean? something on the low that we don't now, know they about? Sell, they sell like little little toys, sex toys too. For real? Yeah. You, you ever been, been in Hot Topic? He ain't been I, in a while. Uh, no, I ain't been what in a while. What is Hot Topic? Hot it's Topic sell like that gothic store. Well, they ain't really oh. gothic no more. They just. They're not. Everybody that dressed like Sting. Everybody that dressed like Sting. Now. It's a sex shop? It's Pretty, not. Yes, not. it is. Half that shit in their sex. I mean, everything's a sex toy if you want to make it one. Yeah, but they sell dildos and handcuffs. Really? And I bought some handcuffs, like, yeah. yeah. From Hot Topic? They sell dildos. No, nah, they do sell all that shit. They, I'm telling you. From Hot Topic? Why do you topic. use Why do you use handcuffs? My old lady wanted that shit, man. I ain't. Is it because... It's just something to do. Just to say you something did Something to do. She, she just was in a... But is that like, insulting to you? Do you ever feel like... You ever feel like no, she's because... saying, yo, you can't hold me down? Like, you need no, help. No. You need some help. No, it's actually good. Cause like when, you, when you fucking them from the back, you can hold on to the to the little the little chain and you just bum, bum, bum. You know? <laughs> hey, you see, hey, you see that old Florida 69 boys came out of him just bum, now. Bum, 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 he, bum, he took it back to them days. Bum, bum, bum. He had on them, them, them leather pants, Luke. made him take it back to them days. Them 12 pumps, baby. <laughs> 12 pumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So tell, tell me why um, why why are people mad at Elon Musk for for hosting SNL? What's what's the issue? I didn't Yo, get a chance to watch you on Flagrant Two. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out what is Elon Musk done that's making people have this vitriol vitri I can't even say the word vitriol reaction to him. And you talk about me, rich. <laughs> I know this is what it is: rich white people and. What I mean by rich white people, I mean, like, I don't care if you're a minority and you're on SNL, you're a rich white person. Like, you, they just want to make sure there's somebody more rich than them that they can be angry at for being rich so that nobody knows yeah. they're rich. That's like how niggas mad mm. at Diddy now. What are you mad at Diddy for? Because they saying, like, you know, they mad talking about, how you going to say we need to get money from these people and you taking money from this and that? Like, it's the same thing. Everybody yeah. needs somebody a little bit higher you than them so that they can point at. the finger at. It's like, yeah. that's just like how they mad at us talking about something. Y'all done had money too long. Remember they was telling us we done had money too long for because I said that shit about you can't, you shouldn't be old, 30 years old, living in room. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But he, but see, people took what Duval said out of context. He said you shouldn't be 30 years old. Um, 30 years old is a man living with another man that's 30 years old as a roommate. And I was just talking shit, like, but they took personal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
because I didn't understand the Elon Musk thing because I was I thought I missed something. I was like, damn, did Elon Musk? He's just rich, bro. Say something. They're fucking idiots. Because everybody rich. on SNL works for a billionaire, dude. Every single what? person yeah. on SNL has a boss that's a billionaire. Every one of us Poor. works for a billionaire. You can't work if you're not working for a billionaire. So they're just complaining about some shit. It's fucking stupid. If you don't want to be Poor on the show, don't be on the show. Poor white people hate rich white people. Poor and, white people hate rich white people. Huh? So you think it's just because he a billionaire? Poor white people hate rich white people from what I've Hey, the crazy thing is, I, we we have Michael Che on Breakfast Club. He said he don't know what the big fuss is, and he said he's writing sketches for Elon. Yeah, Pete. Yeah. Pete said. Pete said he went to dinner with Elon. He was like, I don't know what the fuck the issue is, and I'm like, well, who's complaining? He said we don't know. We I think Elon is just a rich nigga that just do shit just to fuck with the world sometimes. Like, yes, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna tweet this real quick and just fuck with him or fuck with the economy. Yes, like, he said, all right, all right, I'm gonna fuck with the stock market. I'm fucking with this. Now everybody go over there. You see what I'm saying? He just be fucking with people. He got so much money, he don't realize he fucking with society's mind. <laughs> now, now I, I would the only thing, I'm, and I'm just playing white devil's advocate here. The only backlash I would say is what has Elon Musk done to deserve to host SNL? Only because SNL is an entertainment format. It's a place where entertainers go to host, right? I've never who who has hosted SNL. That's not an entertainer. Plenty of people who are not entertaining have hosted SNL. Like who? The guy who might be one of the most boring people on the planet who ran who? for, I don't know if he ran for president or like uh, governor of New York or mayor of New York. Was this Forbes? Was that his name? Forbes? Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot this guy's name. But like, it's just a, it's, SNL is just, if you're famous, you go on there. That's all it is. It's just like, this is a place for Even the host? People. Yeah, as the host. Yeah. You don't have to be funny. You don't have to be, you just yeah. need to be famous. This is the place that's where all famous it's about. That's all entertainment is about selling the person. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's like it's it really is. what we doing that shows is we wasting our time. I, <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. Schultz got it. Schultz got it more figured out than you do. He do. He do with yeah. especially with the stand up and stuff. He do got this figured out. But I don't know if the audience care enough about our art anymore like that to. You know what I'm saying? I like, think they care about this. They care about conversation. They the care whole, about us. The whole world yeah. is driven by conversation. That's all yeah. social media is. But one they big care never in the conversation. About your conversation. Do they? Yeah. Yes. I don't even know if that matters anymore. Think about all the conversations we see go viral from no people that you don't Those never heard of. Them shits, but but when it comes to the person, they have to care about. That's yeah. a random. You don't even know who the person said it when it's just random conversation. But when the person said, you say, "Did you hear what Charlemagne said? Did mm. you hear what yeah. Schultz said?" But I tell you something messenger. though, you think about this the messenger, yeah. But no, think about the beginning of podcast. Right, podcast has been around for about I don't fucking know how long now. I, I, I'm how long just, y'all been doing? We've been doing all about seven, eight years. I'm gonna say eleven because yeah. the longest running podcast I can remember is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan been around for eleven years. What about the Reed? Reed been around for about eight or nine. But see, and I'm glad you yeah. said the Reed because that's my point. Nobody knew who Kid Fury and Crystal was when they first started doing their podcast. But they came in the time just like social media. Like, it came in the boom. Yeah, so, it, came, it came at a time when people were willing to listen to somebody who they may not necessarily know. Right. But it, everybody was listening to anything at the time. That's just like when, at the beginning of Twitter. You followed anybody. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like no, It's just true. like, like, like I should have got on podcasts when y'all told me to. Now I got to just go in there and just... Be Duval. I got to use my fame to get yeah. people to come back. You, see I mean, you, you put me on Twitter. Duval put me on Twitter. I remember I, I was tweeting and I was like, why does he like this shit? You know why I said that? Because I didn't know what the ads were. And yeah. then one day I clicked them goddamn ads. Forget yeah. it. And saw, and saw people were speaking to me back. <laughs> and <laughs> talking back to me and replying. I'm like, oh shit. Comedian that Spank that be with, be with the Plastic Cup Boys be with Kevin Hart. He the one put me on social media all together with with my space and all of it. Man, that's got to suck if you put somebody on social media then they get more followers than you. They pass you a follow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that happened all the time with all the... Because there wasn't no celebrities on at the beginning. Yes, yeah. it was. That's not all like was on that. there. Not on MySpace, man. If they were... Oh, they MySpace, was, MySpace. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not MySpace. On MySpace, only people was popping was like... Musicians. Me. Musicians and even then they had people faking like they was running their pages and shit. <laughs> and now as far as comedians, the only one I could think was me and Avion Crockett. As far as in the our com- you know culture. what though, I used to, I used to get hit up by you know it's so crazy. I used to get hit up by people that became, I guess, celebrities on MySpace. How long, how long like, was Instagram? Instagram. I remember you had my got my phone broke a long time ago. I got Caroline. your phone broke. Yeah, you told everybody to call my phone and tell me I'm nasty for doing something <laughs> crazy. <laughs> This was what? years ago. This is in Carolina. <laughs> and mad people started what calling my phone. Like my phone, fucking phone broke. And this was years ago. <laughs> what? Uh, mad people kept calling me like, you nasty, you nasty. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I put your number on social media? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you done done some wild shit too, then. You're so out of control. You, some, 
Yeah, he was out of my phone. I was out of control, but this thing was out of control. Boy, that's a damn lie. I'd never been worse than Duval on social media. I probably was bad. Some of the shit I used, because I was speaking off the top of my head, and that was back when you could just say whatever on your mind. And you wasn't smoking back then. Yeah, I wasn't smoking, so I was just... Like just, boy, that just was a wild time. Going, yeah, boy. it was a good time. Yeah, man. That shit, that's when everything was just so carefree. You could just let your tweets fly. You could say whatever. Nobody gave a fuck. New world. Now, I remember, living over- I remember when, uh, I think I remember when it shifted. I, I, I said something on Twitter to the extent of, said something like, uh, I don't think porn is empowering or something to the extent of that, right? And all these like B or C, D list porn stars were like, who the fuck are you to say porn is empowering? <laughs> and I was getting all these mentions and I and I hit up Charlamagne. I didn't even know what the fuck happened. I was like, bro, bro, what the fuck should I do? I, I just said porn is empowering all these persons, whatever. And I think you were, you were like, wait, what's the issue? What are they upset about? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think porn is empowering for women. And then you're like, wait, they're mad at that? And I'm like, yeah. And you're like, well, yeah, that's that's fine. Like, I guess people are going to be mad. I forget but, exactly what it was. Do you remember this? But yeah, I do remember. But listen to, to your to what we were talking about earlier. You got attacked by the porn stars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So there would be a time where you would say something like that, and it would be women who aren't porn stars who would agree, like, "Damn right, porn not empowering." But you uh-huh. were ta- like we were talking about you 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 targeting one person, but end up hitting a bunch. Yeah, that's what you did with yeah. that goddamn tweet. But now yeah. it's a bunch of but now it's a bunch of porn targets now. Like you got the porn target, you got the the woman target, you got the, Lord the have short mercy. target, you got the, Lord the have fat mercy. target. You got everybody. So anybody you say, you can offend, that's and they got a group of more. people. That so it, it kills more. the art of it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not. There's different ways of doing comedy, but it kills the art that we was taught. Yeah, you, you can't have a conversation yeah. on Twitter. You can't, you can't speak have, regular. You basically you have a conversation nowhere, honestly, no more. No, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Well, then, I, can't even say, I can't even talk on here like I really want to talk. To, you know, and, like, and, and, and you know what's crazy? <laughs> the, the problem with Twitter, we thought only our friends was following nah. us. You know how on Instagram you could do the closest friends? Yeah. So I say something about somebody, and then that person jump in my comments mad, and then they friends want to come at me, and yeah. people calling my phone, and now all kind of fires is getting put out. I'm like, well, goddamn, I didn't even know the person was following me. Well, when I talk on social media, I talk like barbershop talk. That's the problem. That's yeah. my problem. Yeah. My life. I talk like we talking like friends. Like like yeah. if I'm talking to my homeboy or my homegirl, and I be forgetting there's millions of people. That's right. You know, that shit up. but but we that's the power of words, right? That's why I love yeah. Bishop T.D. Jake's new book, Don't Drop the Mic, because he talks about the oh. power of words. We all have platforms and we all got voices and we do got to be careful about what we say. Not because we pussy, but because our words have impact. Yeah, yeah I got to do this interview. What well, shit, you want to knock it out? I got to pee anyway, because I, I uh, got to talk to y'all about Snow White. Because uh, this is a great time yeah, to segue. Yeah, I, I just saw it on my, on my thing. People talking. How long the interview is? About five minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah. All right, let's pay some bills. All right, the world today is nuts. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eighth ounce cans and pre-rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Okay, now whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre-rolled joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, Experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high, okay? Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Now, Shotzi. You want to tell them why your fiance stays smiling? Shit, I'll tell you why. Because uh, we're on the chew and the chew is the truth. Guys, there's no reason why you shouldn't be delivering the best dick of your life every single time that you want to deliver it. And the way that you're going to do that, the way that we all do that over here is with Blue Chew. Same active ingredients that's inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew and we don't mess around. Okay, Blue 
True, you can get it for free and deliver the best dick of your life to your girl, your side chick, the girl that you want to impress that you haven't slept with yet. All of this is possible with Blue Chew. Ladies, if you're listening right now, you deserve it. Tell your man to get on it right now. Tell him to get on it right now. Tell him to get on it right now. And I'll tell you why he'll do it, because it's free. Yes, you can get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. $5 for the best dick of your entire life. That's bluechew.com. Use the promo code idiots. Bluechew.com. Use the promo code idiots. And you are going to get the best dick of your life. All right. Now let's get back to the show. All right. We got any church announcements, Schultzy? Um, yes, sir. Uh DeandreSchultz.com. All my shows. Go check them out. Uh and yeah, the announcement next week. Big announcement next week. But uh um, oh, go check out those shows while the tickets are still oh. available. There's tickets available for a couple cities. But uh, thank you guys so much for getting on it. And make sure you just buy them the second they drop because I hate when these people have to pay these crazy scalping prices. Like, don't do that. Don't wait. Yeah, I love and then seeing you, you do your thing, man. Like, every city I go to, I see you be there too. That should be dope as hell. Let's go. You do your thing. That's fire. It's dope, man. It's dope nah, seeing it all is. my friends winning. It yeah, is. It I don't is see fire. how people, I don't, I don't see how people can feel any other way. Like, if you don't have friends that's winning, People around you that's winning. If you don't support that, I don't even understand. Uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, happy like, for him. Yeah, I was happy to see this nigga got a new Cadillac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga used to. He even, he even riding that old. Oh, my bad. <laughs> they know. I'll tell you, I had a, uh, like a 2002 uh, Cadillac yeah. Escalade. And he was riding until 2019. <laughs> that's right. That's right, baby. To 2019. Rich, broke lifestyle, Come baby. On, man. So, <laughs> it just be little shit. I just love seeing. I, I know I sound like an old nigga, but I love seeing people winning, like yeah, my friends man. doing this shit. Nah, Wax, you got any great. church announcements? Yeah, um, I'll be sponsoring a TK show uh, this weekend, Mother's Day weekend on Sunday. Um, TK got him, dude. I see. Hey. I ain't even say nothing. Listen, <laughs> yeah, listen, let's go. Listen, that's he's my guy. I love TK. Man, he got that who's wax going out there. Got a lot of eyes seeing it, so I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? Once TK get a promoted, he like he on you. Yeah. <laughs> he on you. Hey, oh, you, come man. on, baby. I, I, ain't, when, I ain't mad. I remember when Charlamagne used to do the shows at Caroline's with TK. Yeah, yeah. TK had me. I love TK. I though. told this him that though. That's OG I, all day. I told Charlamagne the same thing he telling Wax. <laughs> <laughs> But TK, my guy, really I appreciate TK, you, man. man. Let's rock, man. TK, TK, TK. TK is so entertaining, he, but I I know exactly how he got waxed too. He was like, "Yo, we Jersey guys, man. We gotta stick together." That, it's all <laughs> listen, listen, and I really enjoy it. My team enjoy. It. We actually making moves, man. Who's racks really getting out there? I got a product that we it makes sense. You see what I'm saying? So we got out there in um, improv in Miami. I'm going to fuck with yeah. his uh, paintball thing, too. Yeah, I'm, like I'm doing the paintball facility out there. I'm, I'm going to bring it. some of them little kids out there in Charleston. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I'm saying on this, so I can make myself do it. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes, yes. Duval <laughs> definitely <laughs> promised me that he's going to be out. He's going to get a team of 10. I want all these podcasts out there. In Charleston, I'm, some kids that's, that's, right. that's out there just wilding. We're going to have him come out there to the yes. spot and do some paintball. Yes. That's right. There you go. That's I don't right. know when. And, <laughs> like, this summer's the best time. Happen, no, it's it's it, gonna happen it, sometime it, this year. It will definitely be open up this summer, so I want everybody to come out there. Podcast it's wars in Hugey. and Hugey, right not not far from Charleston. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Also got the Bully and the Beast come out on Wednesdays. Patreon on Mondays. Make sure y'all holler at us. Um, I would tell you to uh, check out. Well, you know what I do? Uh, check out uh, We Got Answers on Audible. Thank you to everybody that's been downloading that. You can get that. Uh, it's free with an Audible membership. But, um, and, you know, salute to everybody that's been logging on to blackeffect.com. All the podcasts from the Black Effect are under blackeffect.com. But the most important thing is Tamika <laughs> Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. It'll be out May 11th next week. Let's I'm, go! I'm, I'm, Nigga, I'm that ain't the most important thing. The most important thing, my special out. Oh, the shit. I was, I, no, I was <laughs> saying, I, no, 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 no. I was saving you for last. I was saving your church announcement for last. I was saving I'm your the most important no, thing. No, no, no. How, how much is a book? How much is a book? Uh, how much are the books? Let me see. I'm going to get one, uh, at, at, Well, Amazon is $19. Yo, uh, I don't know how much it is in books. I forgot though, to tell you this before we talk about Duval special because that is the most important thing, but I forgot to tell you this. It comes out, the book comes out May 11th, right? 5 -11, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. May 11th also happens to be what is called White Night Day. And White <laughs> Night that? Day is 
essentially the KKK's like first meeting that they had. Are you had. serious? <laughs> and, and, no, Are you serious? I'm dead serious. So, you look that up real quick. And, Why do you know this? Say what? Yeah. May Why 11. do you know this? We you celebrate know it every May year. 11. This is a big celebration. For Why did you know you this? Not, 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 so did you celebrate? You're going to yeah. have people looking up KKK pictures. They're going to be looking for somebody with a long nose under a hood. Right? <laughs> 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 Out. They're easy to pick shorts out. What's the name of it again, Shokes? Nah, what's that's funny as hell, though. You just see the you see the hood going what's down this pop the out a little bit. Yeah. No, instead what's of, the name of it, Shokes? Instead of the cone at the top, it's like this, sticking straight <laughs> forward. I put it just so <laughs> Shokes, what's the name of it? White, white, white Knight. White Knight. Knight. No, I just, I just made that shit up. I was, you got the wrong oh, search. Just, nah, I, just, I just made it up. Yeah, shit. I just made it up. I was about to say, does she know that? I was about to say, it don't matter. That's, 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 that proves the book title right. State of yeah, Emergency. How to win in the country we built. Mm-hmm. But it's out May 11th. But Duval special. Yeah. Right. Uh, living my best life. Yeah. Living my best life. Yeah. Living my best life. Yeah, man. Just like I said, 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 man. Just like like I say, I think every, I think most of the new comedians, that's what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? As far as in our culture, you know, you still got the ones that's doing straight stand up, but at the same time, it's evolved into more than just stand up. As far right. as being a comedian, like you got mm-hmm. your social media guys, you got your skits, you got your people that do funny, funny jokes. I mean, funny um music joke, music. Songs. I think 85 South Show does it very well. They do it very All well. And you gotta give a shout out to um, Nick Cannon with Wildin' Out. I mean, I think yeah. they molded oh, yeah, the whole 100%. new lane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They like the new version of Def Comedy Jam where we grew up on. These. Living color. My daughter watches Wildin' Out like mm-hmm. like we watch Def Comedy Jam. So that's pretty much what's what's molding the mindset of what what the kids think stand up is. So what we think stand up is, they not going they not gonna be on what we own. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like what we think stand up, in my opinion, is like jazz. It's gonna always be there, mm. but way the kids see it. They getting taught that wilding out is is comedy. Stand-up. No, it is yeah. though. But you got to think about it. Is. It hey, is. And you can't be wrong. You can't be mad. You just got to evolve <laughs> with it. And that's what my special does. It shows. It's, it except it's a little more mature for the older crowd to to digest to get them to understand what the next generation is doing because that's what they own. Yeah, they ain't nobody just. They they just 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 doing just stand up. Even Steve Harvey's right. changed his suits. So you know <laughs> what. I don't, I don't know. Salute to our guy Chico Bean too. Chico Bean, yeah. um, Chico Bean lost his mom, man. Oh no, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, so condolences oh, to Chico Bean and his That's his family. Piece. I got to oh, call and check man. up on him. Man, him I, you know, I, stuff like that. I, I sent him a text yesterday because I didn't want. to call. I mean, that's what I mean. I'm gonna just text yeah, him. Yeah, that's the only thing you, uh. See, when it, when men deal with it, like we don't need. Well, in my opinion, some pre- people do, but. I don't need nobody to hug me and nah. tell me it's going to be okay. I got to deal like with it. When Kool-Aid died, I went to the Bahamas and stayed there by myself and just cried. And that's all I needed. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So Let it out. But outside but, of that, are you, I mean, mama everybody don't... handle it different. No, nah, I mean, right, I'm, not right, comparing, right. Yeah. I'm not comparing his death to mine. I'm just saying everybody handled death di- different. Nah, I get what you're you saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you never know, from my experience with most men, like you just got to let that shit you can Take be there course, for him. Let man. him know he, you there. That's what I told him. I said, yeah. Yeah, I, I said, man, I, you know, I'm here for you if you need me. And I know people, I know that's a cliche thing to say. Nah, but say it's But I'm there. Say I'm here. Yeah. You know it's what good mean? to hear say it, though. It's because good to hear even it. if they don't reach out back to you, I had a, I had dinner the other night with a guy who lost his brother. And uh, he said after that, he realized that, like, sometimes your friends are your real family and your real family ain't shit. And he said, yeah. like, he had friends that weren't related to him at all that called him or texted him every single day Checking after up. his brother passed. And he goes, I didn't get that from my family and a lot of them, especially Damn. my distant family. And even though they, he didn't reach out back to them, it meant so much to him that every single day there was something like, yo, thinking about you, hope you're good. Yo, thinking about you, hope you're good. So, yeah, you I know think reaching so out. Crazy. a lot, man. Say you know what? what's so crazy about that? It might sound corny, but that's the same thing happened to me when my, when my Instagram got deleted. Everybody that man, really, shut up, man! Everybody that no, I realized, so I realized who my friends were. Man, everybody was up, hitting man. me up. Nah, <laughs> even, even when your dog like, died, everybody man, everybody was hitting me up. Like you know what, man? Like no, that's true. Cause people was hitting me up. Like man, Duval, good. Like, no, was, you know why I really worried? <laughs> you know why I'm I hit sending you him up? messages from other people. People was really worried about me. No, yeah. I'll tell you why. Because you said this earlier. I remember you saying this. You were like. I don't need much because I have the people. This is what you said to me early on. And you said, I don't need much. I have the people. Literally, all I need is a Wi-Fi connection to my phone, and I'm good. I'll be happy. I got the people. 
And then right. I looked at that like them taking away the people from you. So they I was it. really yeah. worried about you, man. I was like seriously they concerned. Did. But you, I had to program <laughs> my mind to like, well, kind of like I did with, with anything. I was like, well, I guess that 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 train ended. And yeah. then look at God. And was, and look and, at God. He gave it back to you right in time. As soon as Derek Jackson fucked up. Yeah. God said, go, go ahead, my son. Go ahead, my son. Perfect. <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, if it, and you know it's so funny, if it wasn't, it wasn't even me that got it back. If it wasn't for Clay, my my manager, I would have never got it back because I had already accepted it. Like, all right, yeah. it's over. I got it back for you a few times. Well, black no. man don't cheat. When the song dropped, you came back too. No, no, but this time here it was over, over. It was all the way over. If, yeah, that's if, true. Cause they were tired of hearing from me. Yeah, they were like, it was no, over, no, over. no, no. It was just no. a saran wrap. Like this time, I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't even know what he on. did. I'm like, Duval, I don't know what you did. It's I, not so much what I did as how they changed the algorithm, how they changed the, they kind of, they kind of uh, prejudicedly programmed Instagram to to hate on most of everything we do and say now. You can't even say the N-word. Like, you can't say much of anything, just oh, yeah. stuff that we randomly take. And it's been like that on Facebook. But, and I knew it was coming eventually. That's another reason why I wasn't tripping because I knew eventually, whatever, if you ever want to see how Instagram was going to be, Go on Facebook. We don't own none of this shit. And yeah. that's what and that's what I learned from that. And like what we was talking about, I was like, yeah, we got to get to where we got control of our own. Yo, that's, you know why, I don't, that's, why, that's is... why I don't even have like the conversations about censorship. Yeah, we can have them, but we keep forgetting like we don't and own we don't none don't of these platforms. So it's like, that's why I wasn't so even tripping. It's like, how am I be mad if somebody kicked me out their house? Absolutely. So here's, I mean, it here's, is here's the it thing. Is. Like, here's the thing with that. Like what you said, I thought was really profound because you were basically saying they were making it almost illegal to be culturally black in a lot of these spaces. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you say to somebody, you're stupid on Instagram, that can be considered as bullying. But mm -hmm. if you're black and someone's funny, you go, man, you're stupid. LOL. LOL. You know what I mean? Laughing emojis. It, so you're not really bullying them. You're actually complimenting them. But this is what happens when you have Man. people making decisions and there's no diversity in that and room. And there's no diversity. Yes. And that's what I realized. Yeah. It's not it, personal. I, it wasn't nobody. It wasn't nobody I could call and say, "Hey, man, go tell them people to turn my shit back on." Yeah, it wasn't man. nobody. I did. Yeah, you're yeah, right. But... I, I apologize. <laughs> what right. you mean? He did it, but then the third, fourth tell you, like, man, them people say they ain't cutting that shit. That's back what on. they say. You know what I'm saying? So that let me know we even have enough power to where somebody can say, "Nah, fuck that." Like, and that's where. That's just like with we got our own gatekeeping system. If somebody called mm -hmm. one of y'all and said, "Hey man, hey man," uh, like if somebody called me and said, "Hey man, Charlemagne shit," blah 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 blah. Boom, I'm doing it. That's right. No matter what it is, mm -hmm. and that's how and, we got to have and, our and own little. I got yours. System by I got yours back on. When the final time I got yours back on? No, nah, it wasn't you. <laughs> I'm being dead serious with you. No, nah, I'm dead serious too. It wasn't you. I've been, I'm being, I don't know what Clay said, but Clay hollered at me and then I took care of it. <laughs> no, that wasn't you. <laughs> I literally, hey, wasn't you. can I be honest with you? I made, you. I made a fucking trade. I said to them, I said to the people at Facebook, <laughs> I said, I will make sure Tamika Mallory's book does not come out <laughs> as long as you, <laughs> as you the 12. <laughs> do ball back, back his well, thank you. I'll keep Listen. pushing that shit back and back and back, <laughs> and then we'll forget about it eventually. Hey, I'll tell you something. Them IG conversations opened my eyes to a lot, though, because... When you're hitting up a white person, and you're like, man, why y'all took this down? Or why y'all took that down? And the white person is saying, well, you know, Charlamagne, in this post, you used the N-word. That's yeah, a racial slur. Could be taken. They took down a post the, uh, yesterday because a girl said, I'm going to fight you if you don't restock your um, bathing suits for women. She shouldn't have threatened violence. And she played Nuck If You Buck. All right, then. That's a song <laughs> off that Instagram that they use. They she, license. It's, no, it's yeah, the fight part. Instagram it's the I'm going to fight riot. you part. But, but the funny thing is, it's just like anything. It's just like you doing this. Mm -mm. All right, that's wrong. They can flag that. It was the threatening of violence. But I'm that could be you. threatening. It's wild. It's, it, they dictate what's threatening what ain't threatening. You but get what you I'm know saying? what's yeah, happening yeah, yeah, yeah. also? Yeah. Is that's, that, not, that's what I'm saying. Anything that they think. This we is, don't have nobody to bounce in there and say, no, nah, that ain't threatening. But it's not yeah. only yeah. it's not only we don't have anybody, right? It's it that is true, but it's also like, you know how on NBC or ABC or or there's certain words that can't be used, right? They have rules, right? And mm -hmm. we know the networks have rules, but us regular people, we don't have to apply. We don't have to uh, uh what's it called, abide by those rules. Us regular people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then us regular people got so many followers that we became a network 
on the cable that is Instagram yeah, or yeah. Facebook. So now we have to abide by these rules in the same way the networks did because we became powerful. With great power comes great responsibility, and that's, that's really it. what's happening. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's true, but that's what happens it. is it's like tomorrow I say you can't curse. Yeah. Like it's like out of nowhere they yeah. tell you this. Like they don't give you they give you all the paperwork that the lawyers tell you, but they ain't like saying, all right, this like and I don't mind going by rules. I have no problem going by rules, but let me know the fucking rules. They kinda telling us shit that we should already know though, yeah. badly. Yeah, but, but it, it ain't like, like they telling us it ain't like they telling like me, us stuff. I can we come don't on know. this show and talk shit all day and then next tomorrow you say, Hey bro. You can't do this. And I'll be like, I respect that. But at the same time, you can't be surprised <laughs> Yo, if I but, slip up. Don't you oh, no, think, with you. Don't yeah. you think, though, that like the way I think that rules are made is. But like you said before, Shels, you said this is like we should treat social media like a public park. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I agree with you. But I guess the way I think rules are made is, is two reasons. One, rules are made. The basic ones are made so that we all. You good? I got to do 130. All right. We'll Go figure ahead, it. One second. Yeah. So basically, Go ahead. The, Go ahead. the basic rules are made, right? So that we all don't kill each other, right? And then right. after that, I think they make a bunch of rules that they usually don't apply to us. They only apply if you're acting up. So they basically keep a bunch of these little rules that just in case... It's a, it's it's the little rules that keep you from that breaking the big ones. Yeah. yeah or like if probation. they can never get you, it's like with mafia dudes, they could never get the mafia dude on the big one, so they're going to get you for racketeering. Or they're going to get Money you for taxes. Because they know they can. Yeah. And I feel like that's what Instagram and the social media platforms are doing. They're like, you can't bully. Bully is such a broad topic. What the fuck? How but do you yeah, know what bullying it? But see, they got apps now, or they got little... Little things now, like say, for you post something, as soon as you post it, there's a thousand bots going there flagging. That's a fact. Yeah. So you can't beat it. And people be reporting you, you, you bro. They be report. People it, are reporting. Not you. just they report. It could be one person send them thousand bat bots to you. Mm, damn. You get what I'm saying? Like it's it's uncontrollable. It's it's to a point where you gotta either you gotta have your own shit where you can have some type of control of it. Or you gonna get caught up. How, in how you send a bot? They got them shit no, like can, that. Just the way they can got buy shit that buys streams. That's right. You can buy bots. Let me do this, man. Hold on, Duval gonna do his call. Y'all want y'all wanna pause? Y'all wanna take it another quick pause? Yeah, let's take yeah. a pause. Okay. All right, so listen, can we talk about Snow White finally? What what is Snow White? Well, I don't know if y'all know, but uh the Snow White ride at Disneyland is not open and it's not being open because of the prince kissing Snow White. While she was asleep in the movie, he did not ask for her consent. <laughs> mm. Didn't he when save he, her life? When, bro, yeah. that's the same thing I said. Did I can't. I, I can't believe this is an actual story. People have story. so much life that they got time. <laughs> so much. Yo, privilege. can I ask you this question, Charlemagne? Can I ask you this yes. question? When yes. they take someone off life support, do they ask their consent? Mm. Well, yeah, they do. Because you got to do it. If, well, if, 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 yeah, they got to ask the family's consent and yeah. you got to have it in your will. That's actually in your will in the but state. But they don't you take do, off. They don't ask the person who's getting taken off life could support their consent. Well, well, if you do like estate planning, like if you have like a will in the estate, that's, 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 that's actually, but no, that's but that's actually in the estate planning. Like they literally ask you if you're a vegetable or if you're on life support, would you want to be taken off? Yada, yada, yada. And you have, you can write down the details. Like, look, what if, I, if you don't, what if you're in a car accident, you're just a vegetable? They don't have that anywhere. They just decide to take your ass off. Oh well, yeah, I mean, something. I don't, I don't, I don't know how it works if you don't have a will or don't have an estate. I don't know. But if you, if you have a will or a, uh, what's an the estate, point you make? It, it go to your wife. What's the point? My point is, my, my point is, they don't ask consent to save your life. They just do shit. If you show up to the hospital, they take out your fucking spleen because they need to take it out to save your life. They're gonna take, they're gonna take it out to save your life. It all depends if you got health insurance. You got health insurance. You can yeah, be you on life support for a long. Bro, well, Snow White didn't have no fucking health insurance, so he had to do what he had to do. This is what I like about Andrew. Andrew will try to find the intellectual angle to everything. Yeah. This is just some bullshit, man. Yeah. Like, come on, bullshit, man. Bro. It's some bullshit, but I just like, I just like poking fun at these fucking idiots. It's so these nerds stupid. that try to do this shit. But see, these it's are the idiots that build up and and be hating you forever and send them bots. No, them the yeah, ones you like. Those be the ones that send them bots. I'm telling you, but, bro. Yeah. But here, here's the thing, though. Why are they going after the ride at Disney but not the actual Snow White movie? 
Like, shouldn't they be like, like, why? Say what it really is. Say what it really is. Listen, that's where all the little is, kids is at. That's where it's at. They all the little nah, kids is down there. It's not about little them. kids. This is a bunch of fat girls on the internet that can't ride the ride anyway. And they're just trying to get that shit down. I ain't say that. Whoa. No, there's a bunch of child molesters over there. They the ones who got all the problems. They don't want to get rides shut down. Child molesters love the rides because they get to look at the fucking kids screaming on them. Here's the other thing about Snow White that's crazy. All of these old stories are problematic, right? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> number, all these old shows are problematic. Number one about Snow White. Her mom dies while giving birth to Snow White, right? So that's the maternal maternal uh, death thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The witch tries to kill Snow White like six times. Rasputin. Poisons her, gives her all type of different stuff to eat to kill her. But wow. we're, forget the murder, forget the maternal death thing. We're upset because Snow... Oh, forget, oh, the other good part. She sent somebody to kill Snow White and cut Snow White's heart out. But the guy can't do it because Snow White starts crying. It was like, yo, just let me live. I'll just run off in the woods and never come back. So she runs off in the woods and come back. Forget all the murder and everything else. It's the fact that the prince kissed her to save her life to wake her up. That's what we're mad about. Without her consent. Because that's also, the only thing that they can also, attach you to. Also, we don't, why don't we talk about the person that put the spell on her in the first place where she got to get kissed to get woken up? <laughs> Taylor is the funniest motherfucker. What? Man. She what? meant to type, she meant to type origin of Snow White. She put origin of Snow Fight. Uh, <laughs> so, no, so, so, it, so it shows ABC. you the first snowball battle. <laughs> it was, it was ABC check. My bad. <laughs> Look, this original Snow White. This shit is crazy, man. It's just stupid. It's just dumb. And yeah. and people that have people that are upset about this, y'all really have an extreme sense of privilege that this it's is what's upsetting you. It's only gonna get worse. You. It's no. only gonna get worse. Have they, how, how can it? Watch how they say Titanic offensive. It's gonna yeah. be so Titanic. It is offensive. What happened Titanic's with Titanic? Fucked up. We don't know. Yeah. Never we'll figure that. it out. You never seen out. Titanic? I didn't. I never watched that stupid shit. Really? Yeah. Well, Titanic watch it right now. Good. Watch Titanic it right now. Good. And you're gonna see. A the selfish notebook ass gonna bitch be offensive. Not sharing yeah. the fucking the notebook. Piano with him. We don't know how did we think this was shit. Snow White was gonna be offensive. Yeah, we never yeah, thought about it. Like we never thought about it. Wait I mean, till, Barney is. I'm Barney telling you, the notebook offensive. gonna be offensive as fuck in about twenty years. What about Pinocchio? Pinocchio is human trafficking. Yeah, they taking a face line too. They taking all them yeah, little boys. You know what I mean? They taking all them little boys to some little fun place. What do they call it? Fun mm. Island or some shit like that. That's and wild. then when they get there, they all drinking, they all smoking, they get them fucked up His and, then, get hard. and then turn them to donkeys. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's Pinocchio? <laughs> That's fucking I Pinocchio. Pinocchio is the doll. Hard. His nose get hard, right? Pinocchio is the doll. Yes. It was a different time back then too. Yes, like wow. I mean, just think this was around the time when they made movies like movies like Gladiator. Them times. So that's probably when them stories was made. So of course they had wild stories that sound crazy to us now. Hundreds of how old is the story of Snow Snow White? Uh, eighteen twelve. Yeah, nobody was alive. <laughs> That's gladiator time. That, that, was, before, was, that was before even Lazy. electricity. No, for real. That's yeah, yeah. Think about it. That's when that story yeah. was told, and we mad and offended by something like two hundred years ago. Yeah, it's a nineteenth-century German fairy tale of folk tales. You, you know how Public Santa Claus 18, was? It, it was like a, a really a fat white guy trying to like sleep with somebody's mom, and then now they're saying <laughs> everybody come to everybody's house. No, nah, I don't know about all that. I got <laughs> what, what else is what else is Santa Claus? How else hey, you show, get that? Here, go, here go wax being wax again. <laughs> yeah, wax, wax going for it right now. Wax okay. is really going for it right <laughs> now. Bro. You don't fall for it no more, Shelps? Because Shelps nah, be all I mean, intrigued. So what I are you do. saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus is a fat guy eating the cake. <laughs> all right, Listen. fuck it. We going to go for it? Nobody want to talk about how Snow White has seven Mexicans following her ass around? Oh, That's yeah. a little bit weird for anybody besides me. You a wild boy. <laughs> Oh, boy. You don't think that's weird that she had a sleepy, a sneezy, a winky? A... <laughs> Why are you calling always it? Wonder, I always, got a special coming out, living my best life. Y'all make sure y'all <laughs> I always wonder why the dwarfs didn't have no family. Like, how you get seven dwarfs? They ain't got no moms, no dads. They didn't come from nowhere, no parents, no other Yo, women around. They was all running the train on them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't never remember that old that old um, nursery rhyme Luke had. My mama and yo mama was talking oh, little man. shit. Listen, my mama called yo mama a bull dagging ass bitch. Listen, we gonna cut. I fucked your sister <laughs> and the bitch ain't shit. What? She oh. slayed me and all the boys and even sucked my dick. Jack and Jill went up the hill to have a little fun. Jack got mad, kicked Jill in the ass because she couldn't make him come. 
Where the Mama fuck did you get this from? He made this shit up. No, this is a real nursery rhyme song. Nursery in Florida. <laughs> this shit was in Florida. Nah, Luke was Luke was worldwide. <laughs> oh, Luke, man. Oh, that's Uncle Luke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, before we get out of here, I want to ask Duval. Oh, we're gonna do Ask an Idiot, but I want to ask Duval something because we've been having this debate, and I think that Duval is um uh, he, he's got a lot of uh <laughs> expertise in this area. If a woman lets another woman eat her out. Uh -huh. On vacation. Are you uh -huh. fucking kidding me right now? Uh -huh. Is she gay? Women not really gay. You can't. Like, women can't be gay. Women really can't. They can like my sister type gay, but the average. Yeah. Like my sister is like super gay. Like yeah. she likes. She likes just women, and that's it. She like yeah. built like a. She like to be built like. She walk around with a dildo. I think so. She keeps a right. strap on or something like that. Yeah. But but I wouldn't know because she, she got her fire. But she got her fire. She got her fire. But she got her fire because you never know. You never Shani. know. Yeah. You never know, Shawty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, women really like if. What, wait, was her dude there too, or she just you just random got your, Girl, got ate out? So I was on vacation. Uh -huh. I was high. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. my friend brought this couple home, mm -hmm. and I wanted to watch. And the girl was like, oh, come on, I want to taste you too. So I said, fuck it. Uh -huh. And she ate me out and it was trash. Would you eat her out? No. Would you eat a girl out? No. They, that guy said, all y'all can eat me out if y'all want. He's in my uh, fiance. <sighs> you ain't seen shoot Duval sugar daddy face, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's down. You see that? He put his phone to the side. You both say, tell me more. You see she stopped looking at me, though. She stopped looking at me. He's down. You look at me 10 seconds, you mind. That's why Duval <laughs> asked the Duval said, do you eat girls out? Because he said, let me see if she want to go on vacation. Uh -huh. She ever already, been to the Bahamas? Yeah, she'll go. <laughs> she'll go. The go to. She'll go. She'll go. I thought you were going to ask him about the Jake Paul shit. What Jake Paul shit? Waxing Jake Paul. Man. What? Who think he can beat Jake Paul? Man, he think he can beat anybody, man. This nigga think he can beat, he think he can beat a gorilla. <laughs> in the ring too boxing yeah. no listen you think he can beat Jake Paul in the ring forget the street fight in the ring when the last time you got in a real fight that's what we don't when we get out we forget we ain't fought in about 10 years yep. when the last time you got in a real re, not a, just a knock a nigga out I'm talking about like a real Actually, fight actually real fight you right I usually just knock people out and that same thing that happens to him <laughs> no, that, no, listen, you ain't you. You dealing with somebody that halfway have some training? Yes, but not halfway all the time. Anything, you know, Everything. Listen, I'm a. T I, I really Shulks, don't want Shulks nobody really to try me. Me. More than me. Man, we've been talking for two weeks. Shows you probably know oh, about the guy better than I do. What's his name? Logan Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul. Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. Jake Paul. So silly. Is, does he have <laughs> any type of skills? Yeah, he's. What yeah, the he's fuck that got to do with me? That's his fault. Having skills gonna get Who you got your money on, Shelts? Um, I would put everything I own on Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gonna lose. Let me tell you how bad that is. Cause you gonna really lose. Let me let me show you how bad it is. Either it's Mayweather and Jake Paul. Who you putting your money on? Mayweather. You put That's all good. your money on Mayweather. So you telling me Mayweather can so beat me? Tell you how bad you are. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're telling me that Mayweather could beat me? Mayweather yes. in a boxing match? Yes. In a boxing ring. In a boxing ring. Boxing, yes. Man. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mayweather will embarrass the yes. shit yeah, out of you right. in a boxing ring. Yes. Are you retarded? That's Floyd yes. Mayweather. Yes. I'm not even having this yeah. conversation. Yeah. 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 That's Floyd yeah. Mayweather. I don't give a fuck who it he is. He might not make you fall. This will be Wax. Wax will be calculating his punches. Floyd will be laughing at him. Laughing every time. Laughing at him. All that good stuff. All right. Yeah. I, I don't think you understand Man, the science of boxing, bro. I don't want to have to beat somebody up to show y'all what the fuck I got going on. <laughs> no, you you got to beat them in the boxing you ring. You I'm talking about in the boxing ring. The boxing ring. With I will beat on. you the fuck with gloves, up with gloves on. on. No, All right, wait. No. We know we can make this simple. Oh. Just this fight makes it happen. Let's yeah. fight just an average novice boxer. Let's have him fight just an average boxer. Yeah, let's find somebody. Just somebody that's an average boxer. Not just a great idea. Yo, Van, you should fight Van. Nah, Van ain't no real it's boxer. Who is Van? Van Lathan. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm talking about like a real... Like I don't some, mind. Somebody that's actually working to become a boxer. I don't somebody mind. Somebody that's trying to get on their feet in boxing. Are we getting any energy from this show? Is Jake Paul? I saw him I put up a top mind. 10 list. I ain't see wax on it. <laughs> is he doing it? Uh, is, he, is he giving us any rhythm? Is he down for it? Nah, wax got to up the profile, man. It's not worth the risk. Jake will get paid regardless. But he's not going to get paid as much as if he was fighting someone that's you don't way think more we can famous amp, than You don't wax. think we amp wax up? 
We all would have to like together. go all super We saying. can sell this fight, bro. Duh, it ain't you got to sell it more. You got to get behind it big. Like if you get behind it big, 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 I think we can make it happen. But how much, right. wait, wait, how much so money do you think we can get, Shelts? Shit, we get 10% of the pay-per-view. No, we good. I mean, but... 10%, what's that round by what we Shit, did? Jake, last paper, if you did 1.5 million buys at $49.99 a piece. Here's the thing. So if we make we Wax famous, you're going to have women coming out of the woodwork that got kids from him. It's going to be a whole that's problem. problem. All the that's, money. Hey, show all the that's his problem. I you think, got one you think Don King cared about Mike, Mike Tyson problems? <laughs> that's, that's, we, we, get some, we get some fat white ring girls You know what I mean Some wax yeah. feel at home the You don't see the bigger home. picture show you see Yeah that's listen. a you great idea you, like I said, you, you care about his well being You care. I about, do don't. care about wax I do too but this is bigger than that Y'all can't be because y'all always telling me that this fucking guy Can beat me He that's is mad in a boxing ring. The crazy part is yes. he I don't give a fuck what y'all saying In a boxing ring yes I, I really don't even give a fuck about the bread Even though it's nice, nice bread you, I would want it But I would beat the shit out of him I can't no, believe you even think that No you wouldn't you, You're out of control Not in a boxing ring I don't give a fuck what <laughs> hey, y'all talking about Wait wait no. You really think you can last in a round I mean last in a, in a, in a ring 10 rounds not right now. I'll definitely round <laughs> for three for three rounds right now. How, how much time do you need? Listen, how much time do you need? Oh, oh, oh. For three rounds, guaranteed. No how, way. How, listen, you're yeah, right. Listen, how long was the uh, other fights? How long were they? Mike what Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. How was long? Three was minutes. Three minutes. Around. Three mount, uh, how, many how many rounds? rounds? Twelve. I uh, was. No, it wasn't twelve rounds. Eight, eight rounds. Was back eight. in the day. No, no I'm, talking I'm talking about, about right now. The one with Mike Tyson and, and eight, eight rounds. Oh, oh, eight rounds. Eight rounds. Eight rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight rounds. You think you could last? Let's say six rounds. I last six rounds. In three I, months. In I don't three think months, you can run around I, a ring for six rounds with nobody in it. Don't tell them that. Like, no, I don't, <laughs> think, don't tell I them that. think you understand Listen, how I much. I don't think y'all understand. Who, no, who y'all think y'all talking to? No, though, it's no, the day. no, that shit is. A, <laughs> you, know yesterday wax, you know yesterday <laughs> Wax hit a car? Because Shelf's know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you, you know yesterday, yesterday <laughs> Wax hit a car. I hit a car? Listen. Listen. What you mean, first of all? I don't know. He was sprinting across the street for whatever reason. And the speed limit is only like five, ten miles per hour. The car up, so he hit the car, boom! Right. I fucked the car. So, up. The car <laughs> so the car stops. So when I pull up to the radio station, there's mad police around. Whack, like, what the fuck going on? Right. The dude he hit something the, the, was in a car, stolen car he, he, he or some had shit a stolen like that. Car. So the car was stolen. He bought the car in Jersey, and he had and he had Texas license plate. So I kind of got him fucked up. But he called the cops on me like some big black guy hit my car. So I, I had to stand there, and the fucking guy called the cops with himself. Stupid ass. Dumb I told him to go. Dumbass, <laughs> <nigga>. fucking idiot. <laughs> Well, shout out to the cops. Y'all ain't coming. Was very aggressive. They seen that white guy called the cops on me, and y'all came through. Very professional. I really appreciate that. And shout they, out to the and, cops and, that's showing love. And they knew him from yeah. the Elvis Duran show. Yes. So I don't know. The cops shows. knew you from the Elvis Duran show. They knew him from yes. the Elvis Duran show. The guy was like, "Yo, wax." Yeah, we know you. So I don't know, bro. I think so we can sell this Jake Paul fight, bro. They're getting beat we just up. need to really up the profile, really push it. I mean, the thing is, I'm really beat him up, not, really for real. Like, I don't want but that, like, oh, you got to drop, you got to drop, really you got to fall. I'm, I'm not going to play with this guy. You gave me a couple the months to really this, train. Wax. I'm going to beat them the, the fuck up. The question is this, is how much money is it worth it for you to get knocked out on TV? That's why I asked how much can uh, we get out of this? Oh, my God. How much yeah. can we get see, out of see, this? See, this is why Jake should do it, because, and don't Jake got a podcast? Or Logan got a podcast? Who got a podcast? It don't Logan matter. got the podcast. Jake okay. does a, a lot of how blogs and social media stuff. Cause I know y'all say what's that get a hundred million? Oh, Jake's much, getting millions. millions. I mean, no, you say you say Floyd get a hundred million, right? But Floyd getting a piece of the pay per view, so he Floyd. And, based, and so, uh, what does he get out of this? This is Jake so also. Logan. Jake also gets a piece of the company that's doing the fight. This is crazy. So Triller is doing the fight. I think he gets a piece of Triller as well. So like, not only is he getting a piece of the so pay per view, he can make about getting, twenty million. Who? Who knows? Easily. Mm. Listen, we listen. We need to get on the phone with this Logan Paul. This is the audience fault because we really talking about this. But let's bullshit. make it a we can make it a podcast thing. Logan Paul's podcast, Brilliant Idiots Mash Up, Bully and the Beast. I don't think y'all paying yeah, attention. That's your fault. We can. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all. Y'all, y'all. I think you getting nervous, bro. I don't, nervous, bro. I don't <laughs> think you want this. Wax. This is my only concern. You're crazy wait, 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 you're right. You're right. You crazy name as hell. Name one. Name one <laughs> professional fighter that that you can say you beat the dog shit out of. 
that I I want I get in a ring with anybody. No, I say name one. You say you, we ain't <laughs> yeah. we ain't think about who you be. Yeah, but name get, getting in the beat. ring don't mean anything. <laughs> Yo, what you mean? I'm a beat the fuck up. What are you talking you know what about? You can jump fighter. in the ocean. That don't mean you Man, can swim. I can exactly. swim, nigga. <laughs> For real, I can swim. Like, like, name, I, I, oh but name somebody God. that's actually a professional fighter that trains to fight. If you can beat up everybody. Why aren't you making tens of millions of dollars beating people up? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You was tripping. I you in the wrong field, my boy. Yeah, yeah. Like the, hey, he don't like to wear sneakers. If he if he can wear Tim's, if they get some boxing Tim shoes, in this day and age, he can wear. Listen, I, in this day and age, I, I guarantee you, Trilla will let him wear them, and that's where he'll really get knocked out. Trilla, say, well, actually, you gotta think about that. If you're gonna go in the boxing ring with Jake. You can't wear Tim's. No, Trilla would let him wear them Tim's. He want to wear Tim's and yoga pants I like he do. You, <laughs> and I guarantee you, tri- it's like wrestling now. They let wrestlers wear they anything. Said, he would, they would let him do boxing, it. Boxing. Boxing is sure a joke. Straight man. box. And you telling me that this guy had better hands than me, more coordinated, more hand eye coordinated. Yeah, buckets. He is buckets. Unbelievable. This guy, Jake Paul, is putting hours and hours and hours in the fuck. gym. That's his fault for Look at your stomach. <laughs> my stomach ready. Stomach, yo, man. I guarantee my stomach better than all y'all. Body y'all shots. Out. Jake Paul gonna tear them apart. Body I, shots. I, you know what? You're right then. Fuck it. Jake Paul. Nah, I'm not even gonna argue with it. Jake Paul, I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. I don't want to fight you. You still ain't told me who you fought professionally. That ain't got to be so, so professional. So what are you going it's by? It's just in my... He don't I, know. I you know going by your mind, own mind. His willpower. You going by your mind and your willpower, which is cool, but that don't work when you fighting somebody professional. I That's what I'm trying to tell him. fuck about that. And like I said, I would train. <laughs> I would train to become whatever I need to become to make sure I win. You need to leave. How much time you need? How much time you need? How much time do you need? Two years. You need two years. How much time I'll do you I'll train to be anything at six months. Oh, I don't care. I'll be a pilot at six months. You tripping. <laughs> <A pilot. laughs> you tripping. Yeah. Well, you're going to be a pilot after Jake Paul knocked that eye out. <laughs> you got to get that patch on. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Jake's a pilot. He's going to be a pilot. I said, oh, a pilot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's not a pirate. Listen, I want him to be like, yo, his closest people said that I can that he I could be him. I'm down. I don't give a fuck how y'all set this motherfucker up. Y'all setting him up. I guarantee that. All right, Duval gotta go. We're gonna do asking idiots, man. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. So back onto the fighting one. They wanna know when Wax wins the fight against him and Jake. Shar and Andrew has to do what? We just say we was wrong. We was wrong. That's grow dreads. Both nothing? of them got to grow dreads. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. It's easier for Shells to do it. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. easier for Shells to do it. Talking about that shit ain't happening for me. Charla, you owe me $1,000, yo. For what? You said Donald Trump will be arrested within the first month of coming out of office. He hasn't been arrested yet. He's on a podcast. I need my rack. Oh, Damn, I bet you. Yeah. <laughs> I need my rack. Pay the man. Damn. Pay the man. I'm going yeah. to pay up. Cash out. I got it. Somebody got to send it to me and make sure I prove me that I said that. <laughs> prove to me that I said that. All I right. do remember saying that he was going to get arrested. I don't know if I bet, though. Um, movie man Mike wants to know to Duvall and to Bring Idiots. I understand that life is about perspective, but what Tips to hold that in dark times. Lean on your perspective when them dark times come. You yes. gotta lean on them more, more than ever because that's when you have to. Everything <laughs> that you was trying to teach everybody else, you have to use it for apply it to your own whatever your dark thing is. Yeah, in the mirror. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what it is. Like, and that's what the the like something as simple as the the um the pandemic last year. It kind of put him. It kind of put me to the test. Like all that happy shit you was talking. Let's see if you can still stand the test of time when when she you ain't making up. no money doing this and that. See if you still happy. Were you really happy? Yes. Y'all was talking to me. Y'all yeah. y'all can y'all can vouch for it. So it you wasn't I, outside neither though. You caught COVID nigga, COVID three times. Nigga, I was outside outside. <laughs> I was outside more than everybody. Like shit. Was I was one of the first to go back on the road and do stand up. You, you know? was doing stand up. Yeah. When was your first show was. When when we went on lockdown. March. We went in on lo- March. <laughs> <laughs> probably the end of month. I'm just bullshit. Uh, probably like in in June, man. In June, June, June July. So I mean, and we still locked down now, no? Yeah, no. not really. No, I mean, the, in my opinion, the certain places never went down. Though the pan, I mean, the 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 corona and all that was fucked up. <laughs> but I think how we handled it was even more fucked up. I think we handling this shit stupid as fuck, and we ain't gonna get it to later on and see like, yeah, that shit was. Explain. Because I just feel like like the how we, like say for instance, we took a test. I took a test for 10 minutes. They said, all right, you good. 
But then they got the other test to go out the country. That's really supposed to tell you. So who is right or wrong? Yeah. It's it's like it's just I mean, it's just, and, and, it's just and, really for legality, to yeah, be honest. Exactly. With you. When it comes to them rapid tests, that's, that's all. When it comes to them rapid that's tests, it. they don't give a fuck. They just like, oh, he's good. Let's get the show moving. Yeah. Like we don't like it's He took it. And and honestly, I mean, most of the times when people that I know that's got it, they got it from being around friends and family more so than being outside like that. Yeah. You did the anal swab? The anal swab is more accurate. <laughs> How, yeah. oh, you, that's what you used? <laughs> that's what, did it hurt? Did it hurt? <laughs> they do the you anal swab. You said no, it didn't? No, I never did it. <laughs> Edit it right when he say no. And clip it. <laughs> Matter of fact, I do it on swab. my Instagram. They say, they say if you do the anal swab and then do, do the nose swab right they? after with the same Q-tip, you know that's it. it's very accurate. Day. Which boyfriend you know that did? <laughs> Speak your truth, King. They said it. Speak your truth, King. <laughs> what we got, Taylor? What's next? You ain't gonna laugh uh-huh. it off. What we got next? <laughs> you wild boy. 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 Um, Alex Granado wants to know: Would the podcast be any different if Charla and Wax were white and Schultz was black? Hell yeah. Yes, yeah. duh. Yeah, like, definitely. Blame. It's just like it's different if it was you and two other girls. It's gonna be different. Yeah, <laughs> show, show, show to be black and me and Shola being be white. I mean, it's perspective different. would be different. Nope. I mean, perspective I don't know. Exactly be different. Like what, I don't even it think it all depends on how he was raised. His, his exactly. perspective would be different. Like he probably what you, did, was he raised like Shola? We wouldn't even be the same people. We wouldn't yeah, be the same people. No That's just a, you asking them something that never could happen. I actually I dress. We wouldn't even know how Schultz would be if I he probably was wouldn't wear Tim's. Schultz would probably be dead by now. Yeah, Schultz wouldn't be funny. He'd be in these streets. Yeah. He'd be in these streets. He'd be mad probably, serious. We'll be smoking yeah. Schultz packs. Schultz packs. <laughs> smoking Schultz packs because he didn't try the nigga on Instagram. Hell yeah. And Schultz would have lemonade and shit. <laughs> yeah, black Schultz wouldn't be funny. Yeah, nah. Because it's a curiosity to it, right? Like, you, I don't know. I guess you, I don't know. That's all the, that's all the questions? No, Anything I have else? more. Um, you scrolling over? Listen, yeah, ask, him, ask Duval what you want to ask him. That's then that's all it is. Cause you that's going to your phone is. all of a sudden? Uh, yeah. Are, are you fly out today? Oh, she ain't got too much to ask. He First fly out of today. all, we're not going to keep having this I don't going know on. Nothing. Okay. I don't, know. I don't go. I don't. You have a young lady. I was old over. Lady, don't let. Her. Don't let. Them. But I'm not. If you in a relationship <laughs> and all that shit, I wouldn't never do that. And if okay. you aren't, I'm still no. Okay. I don't fuck with people in the industry. Stop. Uh, you just told this man earlier he can eat your pussy. Literally. If y'all want though. <laughs> what did this even mean? <laughs> what? Because all I gotta do is lay back, so it's whatever. Look at this. So. <laughs> Either it is or it ain't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it is Taylor. A, it is a. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, last one. Let's go. Um, Would you rather be without internet for a week or without your phone? I don't like that one. What? Sorry. Sorry. Same sorry. Same sorry. Same sorry. Same you are without internet without your fucking phone. You can have your laptop. Okay. What's the pettiest thing y'all have done to each other? Oh, amazing. The pettiest thing? That he's done to me? Yeah. He do so much petty shit to each other <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, made, I made him think he, he had tell AIDS. me some shit, amp me up, and then next day I'll repeat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got me like that too. He do everybody like that. He got me like that too. <laughs> yeah, listen. He, he he made me apologize to a girl in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it made me think that she got fucked up by got jumped by guys and she was dehydrated, bro. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, yo, I, we gonna make sure somebody get you home. How did you wait? He sent me a picture of her. She sent me a picture of her like, and I, He like, yo, she got jumped by some dudes. So she like, I'm on the pot, like, yo, oh my god, you okay? I sent her church scriptures and everything. This nigga got me. Ain't he got shit, me. Bro. <laughs> that nigga ain't shit, bro. Listen, I made him think he got AIDS though. No, he did. He did. He did. Yeah, he I got him. Up. He yeah. fucked me up. He's still trying to get me back. He I, was never sitting, me back. I was sitting at this girl. It's way back in the day. I'm sitting yeah, in this girl right house. Day. And I get a phone call. And I answer the phone. <laughs> and the girl is like, this Charlemagne? I'm like, yeah. She's like, when the last time you seen such and such? This is a script I used to fuck with, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I ain't seen her in a minute. Why was up? He's I like, three man, ways. she done lost mad weight. You know what yes. I mean? And she 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 got some type of illness, but she don't want to tell you what it is. It's usually so get paused. checked out. <laughs> right? Yeah, you might need to go get checked out. I'm like, I'm good. Shit, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, oh, this is amazing. I'm like, I'm good. She was like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so she's like, so you wore a condom. 
I said, I'm good. (laughs) So I hang up, right? So I sit there for a while. My life just flashes before my eyes. So so I I tell the girl, I said, yo, I'm going to be out, man. I'm going to go home. He was happy to see her and everything. So I get in the car. I get in the car. I call I said, yo, when the last time you seen her? An hour later, too. He like, he paused. He talk about... Oh man, I meant to tell you, she looked fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm she, like, who? I'm like, she, she, I'm like, oh shit, yo, she she got skinny as hell. I forgot to tell you, I'm like, yo, when last time you seen her? He like, yo, I'm gonna call you back. No, he, he, talk, no, no, no. He, he said, he said, he said, he said, why? What's up? I said, nah, nah, I just asking about it. No, he's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. call you back. He's fucking so he's still girl trying to get you back Listen, for that shit. Still trying to get me back. I said, fuck, I said, fuck all that. I'm going right to the source. This is, yo, what's happening? Man, you good? She was like, what you mean am I good? I'm like, you good? I said, yo, somebody just called me and told me that you fucked up, you skinny, you sick, all types of shit going on. She was like, these bitches be hating like a motherfucker. She's sending me pictures of her. I'm like, this motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck happened? So then about 10 minutes later, the girl called back. Charlotte, man, I'm so sorry. Wax told me to do that. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't want you to think I'm lying. Same shit Dolly did to you. What she did to me? When I told, I told, I told Dolly to say some shit to you, and she told you. So then you called me talking about, man, you won't believe me. I don't remember. Remember when I was talking? To, oh, always up to something. I was though. talking to you about man. We were talking about somebody, and I told Dolly to tell you and that that person be hitting her up to do shit. I don't remember. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and Dolly couldn't hold it. Dolly held it for about an hour and then called me back. Man, I hate man, when they tell you full of shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, y- and y'all wonder oh, why I am man. the way I am. This nigga be doing yeah. some dirty ass shit. Yeah. Bro. It's funny. It's not, but we, we you see we, that ain't nobody life. over here sensitive. Yeah, okay? we're not. But nah. but see what happens is I spill my shit out to the world like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to wait I go on, on everything. The ground and be like, Man, look, let me tell you what such and such are. Let me show you nope. this. Nope. And come find it's some nope. Photoshop shit he done did. Like, shit. <laughs> Put the words together and everything. Like, why the fuck he do yeah, this? Like, like why? <laughs> you put, are you invest all this time just to get me? That's why I call. Hey, that's, hey, you know what I do I'm, now? Believe it or not, I do hit Schultz up to, to, <laughs> to, to fill him out to see, like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, man, I, be, I be sitting Duval shit all day just sitting back waiting for him to post. <laughs> 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 he, be, he be shooting, too. You know who else He's do? He's a shooter. You know who else do? Who? T.I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he gonna post this. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I can't talk no more right now. But yeah, do you? Duval gonna shoot. We know Duval gonna shoot. Uh, yeah. Well, and do you have one? Huh? Do you have a petty story? Oh God, with Charlotte, I can't think of one right now. But yeah, he's very petty. Well, <laughs> hand me a, what about a you and your friends that you be with down there in, in Miami? Are you the petty nigga? Oh no, we're all fucking petty. Yeah. Yeah, Alex tried to get me, but it's nothing <laughs> even close to thinking I have AIDS. But uh, nah, everybody got it. <laughs> it's whole world, bro. Hey, he, like, he was sick for three hours. Fucking, ooh, I got a good one how to get shows, but I ain't going to say I'm going to say nothing. Yeah. Oh, ooh, fuck ooh. you guys. Ooh, I got a good one. He said he ain't got nothing. Okay. Ooh, I got a good one. We got, hey, uh, ooh, this going to take, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not up to it now. Now he's going to know. Let's nah, he ain't going to know this one. Make sure he don't see this one coming. All right, keep it up, Duval. I'm going to start praying ooh. for hurricanes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, this is my backyard. I was thinking about getting the pool, but look at all this water I got. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh. <laughs> pressure wash that whole motherfucking backyard. <laughs> there you go. Pressure wash. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> make sure y'all check out Lil Duval's um, Living My Best Life special. Yes. Uh, yeah, man. On, on pay-per-view right now, video on demand, and the all-black network. Salute to Bob Johnson. Salute, bro. Yes. And all, as always, we record at WTF Media. You can add Lil Duval to the list of people who have recorded at uh, WTF Media. Thank you, Wheezy. Thank you, Alex. For this uh, 50% black-owned Come on, yeah. business. Yeah. You know what I mean? 50 is better. It's still, you're still majority owner, right? So 51, maybe. Is that maybe. Well, 100% is both of us. 100% what? You both have black, bro. You both have black. But yeah, 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 yeah. like the GOAT, Dr. Umar Johnson says, there's no such thing as half black because black is a dominant gene. So you're 100% That's right. black. Yeah, bro. yeah, there we go. 
There Yo, you seen Naomi? Naomi announced that she's opening up a, a tennis academy in Haiti this week. Oh shit, Dr. She announced Umar. it yesterday. The Umar effect. <laughs> she announced it. She announced it yesterday that she's opening up an academy in uh Haiti and Los Angeles. And the tennis academy. Ooh, bro. Yes. And um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the brilliant idiots podcast. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.